based on what Looking at what we've talked about in the past, where we see your spine tilted to the right, that looks good. Lower body's resisting your upper, nice full turn. What I want to see different is for your hands not to be so far behind your body. Okay. You see how the stretch that left arm looks in front of your sternum. And I want to see your arms. That's what's going to ensure a downward strike. What goes up comes down. What goes around comes around. Now, the other part of the reason why the ball is going low is we're breaking a big no no, one of the fundamentals that we talked about first, and that was that your head never gets in front of the ball. So, what we see here is you are trying to round the club out this way with coordination. To try and make the ball go in the air. So it's a little bit of blend of Scott and Sarah all kind of mixed together from when we first talked. So you know that, man, if I'm in front like this, I have to shallow out that golf club to make it go up into the air. And it's just like you told me. How's it going? Well, I'm hitting low today. And that's from all that lean starting going forward. And when you do that, the reason why I wanted to get this online, back here, let me get this started back up again, is to swing the club neutrally. We want the club to go relatively close to that line, looking at the one on the right now, yeah. here. And when we go through, we're going to see that it stays too far underneath. So our, kind of our, the money spot is going to be right on your left forearm. So a club that's that low is going to have a low angle of approach to the ball, and it has to where your head is. So here we don't see it much different, but we can see the difference in the transition. Watch how your upper slides in front versus how the lower stays back behind it. And then from behind. And the difference of how high the club is. Even though your posture stayed the same as when you when you set it, that all looks good. A little bit of up there because of how far the, the club worked under. But it's mainly just a product of where your left arm is in relationship to your body. So here we can see a much steeper plane on the left arm. So, we're going to get you to stand a little taller. Okay. With your legs, right? We're going to get your legs to be back underneath you rather than so far over here to the right. We're still going to continue to make back swings the way that you do have your upper turn back behind it. And then it's going to be a change of how we start. So we're going to feel like there's something up against your head to start with, and your lower body is going to go out versus everything going forward. So again, that's going to look more like this. Let's look at the from the face on. How his head stays back behind. Head stays back behind us a little bit goes forward. And 
when that happens, that's when we're going to see that club start to come out yeah. and make a steeper angle of approach to the ball. Yeah. And if our ball up into the air. Simple, right? So here's the difference. shoulder still slightly outside of your right hip, that's good. But your hips still go just a little bit forward to get your feeling of balance. Already your arms are getting better. So similar position at the top. Already you can see that your hands are getting taller. Camera hasn't moved, you haven't moved, neither has the mat. So as we come down is where we're going to see the difference. Watch how your nose gets well over there left of the ball versus how your head stays back. Still producing a little bit of a thin shot, but that's again because your arms are a little bit too far behind you. If you do the big stuff, your body, your head, all that plain stuff will start to take care of itself. Don't go for the quick fix. Trying to make, you gotta make sure that it hit the ground, this and that. But if, you, if your big muscles do the right stuff, everything else falls into place. I mean, it's it's all your body trying to find balance. And if you can snowboard.